All right, y'all, what's happening? As you tell by the title, Boat Maintenance 101. On my Instagram page, I get a lot of stuff. I do most of the work on my truck, my house, and my boat. I'm pretty knowledgeable on all those facts, and a lot of guys talk to me about it. Figure why not start posting videos on kind of the maintenance, monthly stuff, yearly stuff, uh, biannual stuff that I do with the boat and the truck. Uh, I've done oil changes and things of that nature on my F-250, so why not start doing it on the bass boat? So boat maintenance 101 kind of starts with numerous things that we could get into and talk for an hour and a half. But for starters, we're gonna start with one of the easiest and cheapest things you can do to maintain your lower unit throughout the year of your season. Now, we are coming into summer. A lot of you northern guys are busting those boats out. One thing you can go and do for yourself, and this is cheap, simple, and easy, is replace your lower end gear oil. Both of these run $9 a bottle. SAE 90, we're gonna go over the ins and outs, how to change your old gear lube and put in the new stuff with this right here. And this is a gear lube pump, which runs a mere $4.99 at Walmart. It's pretty pricey if you don't keep up with this stuff. So let's get started, figure out what else we need to get this job done in a safe manner. Let's go knock it out. So this is your basic essentials for doing this job. Again, we're gonna be changing out the lower unit oil and this is a 2002 Mercury EFI 200 horsepower. As far as the process on the engines and the outboards, it's gonna be a little different, especially on Yamahas. I don't quote me, but I believe from 2010 up, they started putting the plugs inside, the, just under the prop shaft. And this is, again, reservoir for lower unit oil. Quicksilver gear lube, Walmart specials, simple, cheap. Literally, this pump will be right next to it, and you'll see the importance of that gonna need a flathead I don't know exactly what size this just happens to be a big flathead just get a flathead that fits in there got some towels an empty container to dump the old oil that you're gonna catch in your drain bucket here which is gonna go under the outboard and then a funnel to drain our pan into our container here to recycle the old stuff again you can use really anything I like this one I got this at like AutoZone it's just got a handle and a nozzle on the end to assist with pouring everything out so First thing you want to do, trim her up, take our transom saver off, and we're going to trim this as far as it will allow us to go down. Again, we want that about as flat as possible. Then I mentioned two screws. We got one at the bottom that we're going to loosen first. And immediately we're going to start having oil come out. And then I'm going to pop the top screw and I should start getting a good flow. All of our old oil is draining out and you're definitely going to start smelling it. Two things to remember on these screws, do not lose them, number one, and two, look for damage on the yellow rubber gaskets here. Uh, Mercury makes these, they're really dang durable. Um, just keep them clean because obviously that's your seal. So we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna put that on a towel to the side. Again, you wanna get your outboard as straight as possible so it allows it to really drain all of that old oil out. And I'm gonna sit back five, 10 minutes, go do something else while I let this drain out and then we're gonna come back and put our new oil in. So this kit's pretty cool because it comes with the pump and then the adapters if you do have the Yamaha outboard. And again, it is literally simple as putting this in the bottle and pumping the new oil in, which you will see. Again, my motor takes about a quart of this gear oil lube. Other motors are going to take more, some might take less, obviously depending by the size and manufacturer. Insert into the bottle, they make this thing dummy proof man, you literally screw it on. And then you have the nozzle on the end, we're going to push that into the bottom hole. Now we're all set up to do a little uh, gear loop chug, so let's get this going. That yellow end just screws into our bottom hole, we're going to screw that in so it's nice and tight. And with our top screw still removed, we're just going to start slowly pump in our fresh oil in. I'd say like a pump every every other second. You got a line here on the side. It's gonna take this entire core. Off camera drama, remember to put the clear straw on the bottom of the pump. You guys are probably laughing, not seeing that, but it is on there. All right, so now you can see if we pump any in, we start dripping out one of our screws and again, these, the yellow rubber washers that are on here, they're pretty dang durable, but again, still inspect them for, you know, any cracks and make sure they're clean when you're putting them back on so it has a good bite. I like just getting this to 
where it's overflowing. Put that on there. And tighten it down. You don't need to impact that thing on there. It's gonna be pretty tight with the gasket. Now this part, I always bring the motor back up a little bit. Being that that screw is so low in the lower unit, it's hard to get an angle at this next part. And obviously you're fighting gravity. You wanna get this screw in before you lose too much oil coming out. So I like doing this kind of slow to where it'll just start barely coming out. And throw that screw on there. Grab your screwdriver. Make sure it's tight. And all right. And then obviously clean up the lower unit now because we got oil that ran all the way down it. Now how often should you be doing this? Mercury, I know, recommends 20 hours. Um, I've heard 50 hours, I've heard 30 hours. It's kind of like when you're changing your oil. Some people do it at 3,000, some people put synthetic in, do 5,000. With as cheap as this stuff is, it's only a $15 job. If you buy the pump every time like I do, because they get crusty and nasty, and I just like buying a new pump every time. $10 thing of oil, $5 pump, $15 job, and it takes 15 minutes. Um, I try to do it every three months. That's about when I use 20 hours on my motor. I go by the manufacturer's specs just because it's easy to follow. And then I'll always go back and just ensure these are tight. And that's pretty much it. We are said done there. Now it's time to clean up our, the rest of our mess. This whole side of my yard is all dirt. So it's nice for things of this nature because if I do make a mess, I just kick some dirt over it. into an empty oil canister and I'm just gonna bring this thing down to a local auto shop and recycle it. Alrighty y'all, so now you've got a better understanding going into your early 2000s to mid 2000s mercury outboards and changing out that lower unit oil. It's very important to do, it's a super cheap, easy job. You can knock it out in 10, 15 minutes flat. Like I said, you're barely coming out, you're rubbing pennies together at 15 bucks and it's saving you a ton of money letting that lower unit run. So 20 hours does take a considerable amount of long time that's why I try to tell people if you're kind of a weekend guy, you know, every three months is four months is probably about standard in a one year time. Changing your lower unit is actually part of your annual service as well. So you're gonna, if you're taking it to a shop to get done, it's gonna get done either way. But throughout the year, it's very important to do through those 20 hour standards. I'm a two stroke guy, that EFI, EFI is a two stroke. So the only oil I'm changing is that lower unit oil. And then I run this starter on here, enzyme fuel treatment pretty much throughout the year, really like that's additive. So if you guys have any questions regarding maintenance, mechanics on your boats, make sure you throw that in the comments in the description below. Until next video, hope you guys can kind of enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. I'm about to install some LEDs in my boat, take out some older lights, put some LEDs in. So make sure you check out my channel, check out that video, hit that subscribe, stick around the Bass Lawyer channel for more awesome bass fishing videos and bass boat upgrades. Till next time, get out there, stay safe. We'll see you guys on the water.